In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Django 3 in a virtual environment and create your first Django project. To start developing with Django 3, we first need to install Python 3.6 or higher. Suppose you want to check Python 3 installation. You can run Python 3 dash dash version on macOS or Linux or Python dash dash version on Windows. And the terminal will tell you the installed version of Python if installed. Next, we will need to navigate to the directory that we want to put our Django project into it. I'm then going to create a virtual environment RVB user using pipenv to generate the virtual environment and for installing python packages. Run pipenv-3 to create a python3 virtual environment. Now I want to install Django 3.2.3, which is the latest long-term support version of Django. Run pipenv install Django equals equals 3.2.3 and it will install Django 3 in the virtual environment and add Django to our project dependencies. Then we will need to activate the virtual environment we just created by running pipm shell in the terminal. To create a Django project in the activated virtual environment, run django-admin start project and then the name of our project followed by the directory name to put that project into it. I will use my site as a project name and I will use dot to create that project in the current directory and it will generate the initial set of files for our Django tree project project. Now I will open that folder in VS Code and we can see the files that the script generated for us. We use the manage.py file to run various commands for our project. The double underscore init.py or dunder init file tells Python that this folder contains Python files. The wsgi.py or wasg file provides a hook for web servers such as Apache or Nginx. The asgi.py file is similar to WSGI but for asynchronous web servers. The settings.py contains settings to configure Django. The urs.py file routes the request based on the URL. We generally won't edit the first three files. Now we are ready to run our project for the first time. From the project directory, run python manage.py run server. To run the development server, let's open the browser to see the results. In the browser, I will type localhost colon 8000 and we can see the default screen that Django makes when we create a new Django project. 